So with the Kyocera Echo, um, what we've got is a uh, four modes of operation, and uh, basically they're called single screen mode, which is this. Um, basically, any normal Android phone um, is is what this equates to. You've got five home screens for customization. You've got the uh, standard Android 2.2 uh, menu, and of course, I'm a little fat finger today. Um, and of course, the uh, standard settings tool. So that's all easy to understand. You know, you get it. Opening it up, it it changes it a little bit to. Um, uh, basically, it, it just makes the whole screen a lot bigger, and you can see when we're on the home screens, it doesn't really look like we're doing anything all that different. However, what we can do is, uh, here we are in uh, in the messaging screen, and you can see we've got the message up here, the QWERTY down here, and um, what we can do is jump into simultask mode. So you see I pushed uh, pushed on both screens and there are these seven applications that can access and work in the simultask mode and they are the browser, contacts, email, gallery, messaging, phone, and view queue. So we've got messaging already open on this screen. Why don't we open the phone down on this screen? So now you can see phone on this screen, um, message composition on that screen, and of course we can... Uh, you can switch them so we just swap them we've got the phone up here and the messaging screen down here and if we also want we can uh, jump into something else like my contact database we have contacts and messaging so that's sort of how simultask works you can um, you can basically multitask between this set of seven applications and it allows you to do one application on this screen and another application on that screen so for example, you can have the browser window open on one, composing an email on the other, and use the email uh, or the browser application, you know, as a reference, uh, you know, perhaps if you're typing a, a, an email that uh, needs to uh, include some web data. So, simultask is definitely neat, uh, like that a lot. Now, what happens is uh, when we do this, let's go back to the home. We just put it in tablet mode. So, tablet mode is the basically the big, big, big screen version. Um, and what's going to happen is most any application that you want to use is going to work in tablet mode. So, for example, uh, let's pick something innocuous like, uh, oh, let's go to Google Maps. So Google Maps is going to load, and what it's going to do is it's going to, you know, basically pretend that this is one large display. And, um, yeah, okay, yeah, we get it. Yep, 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 skip that. Um... And uh, if it ever connects to the network here, you'll see in a second how the map just basically spreads across uh, across both pages. And uh, this is how it'll work on most applications that are, uh, you know, just basic Android applications. It'll just span both screens. It'll kind of ignore the fact that there's a, a line in the middle, and it'll behave as normal. But then um, there's also the uh, optimized mode for a handful of applications. You know, so one application that is optimized is the browser. So you can see we have two different web pages open at the same time. And, uh, you know, this is great. I mean, you know, you can see I'm on Yahoo and on CNN. And, um, you know, I can uh, leave Yahoo up and, and browse to any of these other pages, like uh, we'll go to the Weather Channel. And, um, you know, it's useful. I mean, just the ability to have two web pages up at the same time is, uh, you know, is really great. So uh, that's a basic rundown of the four different modes on the Kyocera Echo.